For this project, I'll be using the YL2020 Class D Stereo Amplifier. It is a 20 watt plus 20 watt amplifier and can be found on eBay for pretty cheap. In combination with the YL2020, I'll be using a Bluetooth module called the XS3868, which can also be found on eBay for really cheap. To wire it up, I'll be referencing this picture I found online, and it is very simple. Uh, you'll also need a few other components with this, such as some capacitors and resistors. I'll link all that in the description below. I'll be using some very thin copper wire to make very crude legs to adapt the surface mount package to a through hole package. This way I can get some legs to solder to instead of having to worry about soldering directly to the surface mount pads which would be a lot harder. I'll just use the perf board as a little jig to get the legs in the right position. So now it's time to solder up the Bluetooth module as well as the rest of the components. I'll be using the picture I showed earlier as a reference for this. Okay, so we're going to test out the module real quick before I add the amplifier. Uh, right now I have it hooked up to my DC power supply and I have my oscilloscope right here in the background. There is no way to view the sound coming out of the Bluetooth module without, um, without using the oscilloscope because there's no speaker or anything hooked up. Plus the sound coming out will probably be too low to actually hear on camera, so I'm not going to do that. So let's hop over to Bluetooth on my phone. There's nothing paired here, so I turn this on and I'll put the 3.7 volts and it should pick up on my phone immediately and pair to it. There it is, the POR. For some reason the LED does not do anything. I'm not too sure why. I'll have to look at that uh, a little bit later and add my own sort of indication status LED because for some reason that one's not doing it. It might be too high of a resistance, but I'll check it out later. Um, but as you can see, it's paired to my phone. Now we're going to probe the outputs of the um, Bluetooth mod right here. And as you can see, that one's low. So let's go ahead and play a song here. And as you can see right there, it picks up. So there is our audio coming out. That is either the left or right channel. And if it can, and that is either the left or right channel as well, because we have stereo. So as you can see, it's working. So now I can go ahead and add my amplifier to the circuit. Let me pause the song. And the music stops. So we're good to move forward. And it draws an insanely low amount of current. So to attach the amplifier to the perf board, I'll be using some copper leads to act as legs for the amplifier, just like I did with the Bluetooth module. So now I'll be soldering the output from the Bluetooth module to the input of the amplifier. Right now I'm just using 30 gauge wire just to ensure that it works. Later on I'm probably going to add some audio transformers. That's why I left a little bit of wiggle room here. To power the Bluetooth module I'll be using this rather big uh, buck converter. It's the only thing I had on hand that wouldn't burn up after dropping the 12 volts across it. Later on I'll replace it with something a little bit smaller, but for now it'll do. I'm just going to go ahead and super glue it to the perf board here, and later on it will be replaced with something a lot smaller. Right now I'm soldering the input wires to the amplifier, and I'm also going to parallel two extra wires that will be fed to the input of the buck converter.
So now I'm just going to solder up these two little speakers I got off of a TV. These are just going to be used for testing real quick. All right, so this is the first test with audio. I got these two little speakers that I salvaged off a TV. Probably not going to use them in the final product, but they're just for testing right now, so let's power it on. All right, we're greeted by a little message. You can hear a little hiss, uh, but it's gone now, which is cool. So let me see if it connected to my phone here. And it did, POR 107BT, so let's see the quality here. Let's get a song playing. Spotify. Alright, so let's play a song here. Alright. Little hiss. Alright, audio sound is really good. Can you please sit the fuck down? Now it's time to focus on making a case, and for that I'm just going to use some scrap plywood that I had lying around. I went ahead and cut the holes for the speakers and drilled a few holes for the buttons as well. The majority of the case is just going to be held together using some wood glue. Later on I'll add a face plate with the speakers that will be taken apart using four screws. Now I'm just going to drill two holes in the back of the unit. This will be for a DC input and also for an on off switch. So now comes my favorite part, and that is staining the wood. I'm using dark mahogany for this, and I'm only going to do one coat. So while the stain is drying, I figured it would be a great time to apply this red fabric I found to the faceplate of the speakers. This way it will cover the speaker holes and also make it look really cool. Now it's time to wire up the switches. One side of each switch will close to a 1.8 volt rail. So in order to make this simple, I'm just going to take a solid piece of copper wire and run it across each side of the switch. And then on the other side of the switches, there will be one wire going to the designated input on the Bluetooth module.
In addition to a 12 volt DC wall ward, I'm actually going to be using this battery pack as well. It is a 12 volt battery pack setup that's used to jump start cars and also charge mobile devices. I had it laying around for some time and I was actually going to use an 18650 setup with a BMS, but I figured I'd put this to good use before it just lays around and collects dust. In order to keep the Bluetooth module, battery pack, and BMS from flopping around, I'm going to be mounting it using some double-sided tape. So it is finally finished. We got the red fabric face. I really like how that turned out. Um, we got the five buttons up top, power in and power on in the back. And the stain looks really nice as well. So let's give it one test. Before, one more test rather because I tested it a few times. One more test. In the startup you'll hear a little um, squeal but that's only on startup. It's not there after so I'm not too worried about that. I'll probably figure it out later on. But uh, let's go to test. Alright, so let's get a song playing. and I'm very pleased with the outcome. I'll probably get some rubber feet to put on the bottom of it. Uh, the stain's not 100% dry yet, still a little sticky, but I wanted to finish this today. So we are done for now. If you like this video, please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you want. Uh, and as always, thank you very much for watching.